Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. If you're new to our channel, I'm Brie. This is Francesca. If you're new to our channel, please subscribe, turn up, turn, turn up, turn on our post notifications and give us a thumbs up. Also follow us on Instagram. Instagram. Thanks. <laughs> it's been a minute. Not really. We did Omegle last week. Oh, right. Yeah, but, but it's okay, been a minute this... since we've been like sitting down. Like, yeah. hello. Like, it's been a minute. A normal talk. You yeah, know? a little, a little chat. Yeah. So. This video is gonna be a little bit different than our normal videos. Starting today, we are gonna start doing um, a video once a month on the couch because one, we like the couch. Two, we like the couch. <laughs> <laughs> For real though, what we're gonna do is we're gonna like sit on the couch and basically just, just kind of rant talk. and talk to you yeah, guys. Yeah, it's just gonna be like, a, you know, a conversation. A conversation. And hopefully in the future, when we do these things, we can have people like give us things to talk about or like questions to like or answer. advice things. Yeah, or, or something. just like even know. like weird confessions that you want. Yeah. That we can talk about like anonymously. You yeah. Know? So this is gonna be like a thing once a month. So basically today, since we don't have anything submitted in from you guys, we were yeah, thinking- Yeah, we got nothing. No submissions. Like, okay, we're gonna still make it though, so. Yeah, don't worry. So today we're going to just basically kind of be ranting and talking openly about something that's been bothering us lately and maybe y'all understand and are going through the same shit. And that's friendship. <laughs> so we've been struggling with this. So yeah. we just are gonna talk. Let's just get see into it. See if anyone can relate. Yeah, let's see if y'all know what's going on. I mean, I feel like it's a pretty pretty general problem especially throughout the community like the lgbt community because yeah. i feel like people can be so clicky within it very much so like you know i don't know like I mean, with every single like like every single like letter say, per se every single letter yeah. so we like we have friends but like we have a small like group of friends i would say i don't even know if you could call it a group <laughs> Okay. Here's, a here's a collection of, of different people that we're all friends with. But we don't have like a group of friends. Like, you know, in high school, you have a group of friends and you're just like, woo, like, we're all friends. It's not even friends. It's like acquaintances that you pass by and y'all are chill and you're like, hey, oh my gosh. Like, I don't know if like we live in a weird like state or something, but it's just really hard for us to find like friends that are like dating, like a lesbian couple to be friends with that we actually enjoy being around. Yeah. It's just like really hard and it's like annoying cause it's like, why? But also it's not just couples. Like it's like, all. Oh. Like we have more straight friends, I think than gay at this point, if you count them. Yeah. And that's cool. It's cool. Cause I feel like sometimes the reason that people like who are gay want gay friends so badly is because y'all relate on so many things. Like I feel like we kind of get the same like lingo. We kind of <laughs> listen to the same like, yeah, but Stuff. there's straight people who have that, like, same vibe. Have you met them yet? No. Okay, so, <laughs> until we find that, it's non-existent for us. <laughs> so, basically, this is what we're getting at with all this. As a L in the <laughs> LGBTQ+, yeah. I feel like it is hard for two L's, two L's that are dating, to be friends with other L's. Yeah, it's hard. Can you input more than it's just hard? <laughs> like, I'm thinking. So basically, okay, I keep saying basically because yeah. we keep hopping off the topic, but like, it's hard as, I feel like, I don't know if other people feel this way, but I feel like it's definitely hard to make friends in the community because one, people are clicky. Two, like some friends don't know how to be just friends. Like they want to be like, you know, like, flirty and weird I feel like and some people are just like well, that's just way that's off. just lesbians in general though if you think about it like there's a very there's a lot of groups of lesbians in what category yeah there's Everybody different fits categories into. there's different genres there's so many genres and of lesbians sub genres yeah and like there's certain genres that like I don't particularly vibe with yeah but for some reason, it seems to be the same genre that we keep running into. Mm -hmm. And then, like, we just can't vibe. Like, they aren't vibing, we're not vibing. And then, like, then what? 
it's different to like go out with a group of people than it is yeah. to like be friends like on a couch talking like yeah, conversation definitely but that's the type of friendship that i want i know but it's hard to find that it's hard to find that like it's easy i feel like everybody has their little different friends like if you work friends which are like kind of transactional friends that you're just like yeah we know each other from here cool and then you have your like party friends or going out friends that you're okay with being at when a big social setting but then not like, like alone would you invite that those friends over to sit on your couch and like have dinner with i don't know i mean i know i wouldn't yeah because we would just be sitting there like <laughs> so i mean there's literally like some people that we have seen so many times and if we had to be on a one-on-one -on -one conversation with them like i don't know what we would say yeah, but that's just how lesbians are because everybody knows each other. Yeah. And I think that's what makes that's it hard. That's problem. Because that's what makes it hard because it's like, with straight people, they can meet someone. Like, they just have so much more to do. Like I feel like, like especially, you know? yes, you're right, because we're in like a small city. I want to you know. It is, it it's is. It's that for small the, for, the for us to know, like, almost for literally For the gay everyone. community, it's small. Like, you have to think about, like, our age range, right? And in within the lesbian community, in that, it's like it kind of is small. Like it's not like being in like California or something. But even in even in big old cities, they still have their like oh everybody in this area we know like it's normal. But the only difference is is lesbians are incestual, and so everyone has been with everyone. So then you're friends with one person, then you're friends with their ex, and then they get mad. They're like, why are you friends with my ex? <laughs> and you're like, well. Your ex is like 20 people in the area. Like, I can't talk to any of them. I feel like, it's not like, obviously, I don't know every lesbian in Atlanta. Like, I obviously don't. You but don't? I, but I know a lot. Like, I know, like, a lot of people close to my age that, like, do the same things as me that I would be friends with. You know? You do? Literally. I just feel like there's no other people. Like, where do we gotta move, guys? Yeah, so... <laughs> yeah, so, like, basically, we're fresh out of, like, ideas here. Like, we've tried to, like, go out more and be more, like, outgoing, but... But we are outgoing. I don't think we would, like, be homebodies, but I do like being in my home. But the thing is, is, like, I, I don't like in inviting home. people into my home, and I think that's because that's the people... I'm working on with her. Some of the people that I would invite into my home, I don't want them here because they make my vibe bad. They're yeah, draining. she's a vibe person. They're, so I'm she... a very big vibe person. So if somebody, if I'm just not like feeling it, like it's draining to me to be around. And for you to come into my space and drain <laughs> me in my space, it toxifies my space. So then you have to sage your space. Then I have to sage <laughs> my space. Yeah. Like you guys met Paisley last week. Well, Paisley wants to try and throw a party. And we're like, yo, Paisley, who we inviting? Because... <laughs> <laughs> the list is looking pretty <laughs> slim. <laughs> so recently, we've, um, we've tried to get on Bumble BFF because, you know, we're trying to like, well, there's no possible way we know every single lesbian between the ages of 19 and 24 in Atlanta. It's just not, it's not possible. Even though it feels like it, it's not possible. Well, we're saying Atlanta, like we're not talking about the state of Georgia because yeah. there's no way we know that. No way. Like there's country lesbians. There's a lot that we don't know. Yeah. So we got Bumble BFF and that's a whole shit show in itself because like if you're already having a hard time meeting people like in person, like in a very happy setting, like at the bar, <laughs> like talking to somebody like on a phone when there's no like, I just feel like I forgot how hard it is to talk to a random person via text because like you, have, like you, don't, you only do that when you're dating, like when you're yeah. out trying to actively date people. Yeah. Like we don't know what to say. We're like, <laughs> hey. <laughs> what do you like to do like, yeah no. it's like it's like so no. weird it's like being in an interview process with someone you're like what do you do for fun like who do you listen to yeah like, it's just like they say you know what, what are you supposed to say and then then the worst part because like when we started dating each other bumble wasn't out it was only tender <laughs> so this whole like unmatching thing after a certain time limit it's yeah, freaking me out off. it's freaking me out yeah. we're not like gonna meet like it's just too awkward like i'm not gonna like meet up it's our like, but that might be our issue that might be something that we just gotta do yeah we do need to just do that think about like when you were 15 like you had these like weird deep friendship relationship things with people this weird emotional friendship with people like online right you know you did mm -mm. yeah you did where you texted somebody all the time and you never actually hung out with okay, them yeah. yeah you did <laughs> 
That's like, just a gay You're gonna thing act now. like you're not you're not gay? Like that's a whole okay, trait you have to go through. I'm not speaking of it. Okay, anyways, but I'm saying like this is somebody you're meeting online. You don't have that weird, like weird, like pseudo gay connection with them. Because pseudo gay? Yeah, like you know, like when, sorry, I don't know. Why am I having to explain when you have a when you're like 15 years old and you're talking to some random person online? That's that you what don't... pseudo gay means. Maybe I made the word up. Why can't you just roll with it? <laughs> like, <laughs> why are you questioning my pseudo gay word? Yes, I know we all did that at 15, but now like you can't do it with people because people are weird. Obviously that, but like also I don't have time or energy, and I have that person already that I talk to all the day. I annoy her all day long. Like, I don't know, need to annoy some random person online, so it's really weird. I'm gonna read to you guys some of our Bumble BFF conversations. So, one of the first people we matched with on Bumble BFF was two girls, and so we thought they were together. So they messaged us, and we were like, oh, hell yeah, like a lesbian couple, finally. Like, this was before we'd been through the trauma that is Bumble BFF. This is <laughs> prior to that. Where they go, first of all, y'all are adorable. Like, I don't know what to say to that. I don't know, maybe if I'm just not good at accepting compliments. Yeah, maybe you're not. Like, thank you, dot, dot, dot. What's no. up? So anyways, <laughs> I, had to ask, up? I had to ask for Fran's help on this. So Fran, Fran goes, okay, well, we both said this because it's our account together. We said, second of all, y'all are too. You said that. And then they go, thank you, OMG. And then they go, to clarify, we're, not, we're gay, but not for each other. And I'm like, well, unmatch then. <laughs> <laughs> And then it literally went nowhere after it went that. Nowhere. Like it went it was nowhere. Going nowhere. Then, and then the reason why we couldn't is because they knew somebody that we knew, and it was weird. So we were like, okay, we can't do this. Like everyone knows each other. So everyone knows each say. other. Yeah, that's true. Here's another. Here's another one. This is how. This is how deep our conversations <laughs> get on Mama BFF. This other girl we match with. Hi. Us. Hey. How are you guys doing? Like. And then we never replied. Like, you can't really tell if you're gonna be friends until you hang out, so it's kind of like you're taking that risk. Yeah, but like, it's like hard. I think we're just like weird. Okay, so there's this one couple that we have met and we follow each other on Instagram, so you know. We made the first step. You know, but but we might actually hang out with them, so it might be good it's been, or we might have a story time. Either way. We've been on see. Bumblebee of them since July. But we haven't really been on it. You act like we're on it every day, like, friend. I just mean our profile's been up since July and we have not met a single person. No, it's because we don't try hard enough. We don't actually meet up with people. We're just like, hey. hey. <laughs> like, we're not gonna How meet are you? up. I'm good. So what do you guys think? So what do we do, guys? What like, do we do? So I don't- Are we weird? Like, just say it. <laughs> Like, cause I gotta know, like for sure, like even, why no one. Even like, we are, we are. And I even know though I'm we weird, are, but like, even though we are, there's other people like us out there. But I just don't know why we cannot find the people. I don't know what's going on, but it's very, very frustrating. Someone send us to like a, a friend speed dating. That's basically Bumble BFF, and it's weird. Like you don't want to go through that. Trust me. Yeah, you're the one that manages. I'm the like the account. manager of the Bumble because she could not be bothered <laughs> to talk to anybody. Like, she would not reply for days. Dude, I'm so bad like, at Like, I'm the more outgoing one, so I'm the one that's kind of like handling no, it. No, I'm like, just like bad at texting. Like, I replied. Like, I know everyone says, I reply in my head. Like, I like see the message and I'm like, okay. And I reply in my head and then like four hours, five hours later, I'm like, oh shit. And then I still don't respond. And then the next day I'm like, oh shit. Yeah. And then I'm like, I can't respond. Right, so that's why she doesn't manage the bumble. I handle the bumble. So basically we think that our next opportunity to make some friends is going to be at Fletcher's show in March. <laughs> so oh, good. Just so three we'll months wait, away. We'll wait for our audition in March and see how it goes. I guarantee you it's gonna be like 18 year olds and like that's it. We can't be friends with 18 year olds. I don't know. Sorry, 18 year olds, we can't. We can't. No, it depends the 18 year old. No. You're old. Why? Because we're 23 years old. Like, I'm 22. Just... Okay, you'd be friends with the 18 year old. <laughs> no, I think it's true. Like, now that I'm past 21, it's kind of like, oh, I'm old now. And so, like, I don't really relate to as much stuff as an 18 year old. It's harder to relate to different age groups. Yeah. yeah. So, basically, let us know if you guys, like, feel. The, the same. same way like do you guys have a hard time making friends within the community because people i feel like the community is supposed to be like this great open like ah happy vibe place no. and it's kind of not 
No. It's kind of like everyone's just like... Yeah. And then it's like you don't know to go over here to the clicky gays or go to the weird straights that ask a lot of questions. Like, how many rooms do you have? <laughs> like, bro, like, I don't know what to do. In long it's a good life. thing we're best friends. Good thing. Let us know if you've done Bumble BFF because... I'm embarrassed. It's like embarrassing. It's like, damn, I can't meet these people in real life. Like, I have to go on an app. Yeah. But I met my favorite person on an app, so. Don't hate on the apps. Don't though. hate on the apps. So this was our segment about friendships, but we're going to have different ones. So. It's kind of was just us ranting and um, yeah, word just... vomiting for 20 minutes. I mean, the name of this could be like word vomit. Word vomit. So anyways, we're going to do more stuff like this. Um, Just talking like... About random stuff. About that random goes on. stuff and stuff that is frustrating and yeah. bothersome. Um. Yeah. Anyways, just be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Um. And we'll see you next week. Stay cool. Stay healthy. Bye.